Hi guys, welcome to our second podcast. In this particular podcast, I am actually asking Shamu what are the three things that she wants to focus on in the year 2021. Particularly one common subject or one common concept that we both are very passionate about is minimalism. So in this second episode, we will talk about minimalism. Minimalism is more of a lifestyle that I have been leading for the last 3-4 years. I am trying to focus on being happy and satisfied with less things. It helps me declutter my ideas, my thoughts, my life, you know. And um, Shamu has started being a minimalist recently. So I wanted to know what actually made her choose this life why she wants to declutter, how it helped her or how it is helping her. Do share your views also and I'll be requesting everyone to give your 10 minutes to this particular episode. Let's listen. Tell me the three most important things that you're going to focus on in the year 2021. If, uh, if I just have to tell you that these are the three things Shamu you to focus on. So my focus would be on mental health, my mm. mental health, uh, minimalism. Mm. And because I recently turned vegan, it should be more towards the environment and how I can save the world in the way I can, in the smallest ways. Right. And I think veganism uh, has, you know, given me that uh, okay. purpose. That you know, but through veganism, I can do something. So, uh, you have actually pointed out three very important things. So, it is minimalism, it is veganism, and the third one you have told me is mental health. Mental health. So, Shamu, I want to talk to you about minimalism because that is one of my favorite subjects, and I don't uh, see many people in India talking about it. So, what inspired you to be? Uh, I mean, I can call you a beginner minimalist, right? Now, yes. You know? You're aspiring yes. and getting better and what? Uh, beginner, beginner level. Yes, yeah, beginner level. Okay. Yeah. So, what is it that uh, you think about minimalism which has attracted you towards it? I'll tell you how I started. Sure. So, uh, after, you know, veganism, uh, mm-hmm. I wanted, you know, I saw things a little differently. So, uh, we'll talk is, about veganism later, also. Yes. Let's, let's, uh, right now we're talking about veganism. Yeah. yeah. So, that is what it started. So, after I took on veganism, mm-hmm. uh, I, you know, I took it like during 2020 only. And, uh, so once I was like, you know, finished with my work and everything, so I just opened my wardrobe and I was like, what's are kapadai there pass? And then that was the beginning. So I, uh, that is how I started. I took out all the clothes which I had not worn in last five years, but they were still there. And That's a very good place huh. to start with. So uh, I took out all those clothes and I donated them. So uh, there is this Dhoban, uh, Dhoban, uh, movie. So she has uh, a daughter. And uh, she lives with a joint family who, uh, you know, every family in that family has grown up daughters and they all are studying. And uh, so all these clothes are good because I generally keep all my clothes in a good uh, uh, condition so that they can be worn for a longer time. All of them have good shelf life. So all of them were good. I got few of them dry cleaned and nicely packed and everything and I donated all of them to them. And I kept only uh, six sets of clothes with me. Six to five sets of clothes maybe, uh, for you know regular use. So one when whenever the office starts, I can wear them. So those are all of office wearing clothes specifically. So by the way, guys, we both are from corporates world, yeah. and and uh, uh, we believe that less is more. Less is more exactly. Right. So that is how I start, huh. and uh, and uh, because I have been running uh, the house for a long time. I know that how much of a grocery, uh, you know, we need per month. So, uh, what I did was I rationed it 
and I want only the amount that is needed, not extra. So if I need 2 kgs of a particular pulse, I will not buy 3 or 4 kgs. Yeah. So I took all the things in anticipation that if there is a festivity that is coming, so that you would need a half kg more. So I rationalized So those what things. you're talking about is stop hoarding. Exactly. Just because the big bazaars or, or, or any big Just because it's in sale, you don't need to buy it. Absolutely. You don't need to buy it. Absolutely. Just buy the amount that you need, which you think is enough for you and your family to carry on for a month. Not more than that. So, uh, minimalism is basically, it does not have any set of rules. It, it will, you know, it is just like, you have more of what you have. Yes. That's it. So, it will help you, uh, you know, one, clear out the extra things that you have. Yes. So, it's not just the physical <coughs> thing or the material thing that helps you, but then it helps you mentally also. It gives you more freedom. It gives you more space. Yeah. And it helps you reduce your stress. Because if you have so much, then you'll have ki, you need more. Iske saath ye bhi ho jayega, iske saath ye bhi ho jayega. So, with minimalism, when you have, you know, only selected things for yourself, you don't have to think more about it. You will just have what you need. So basically, if I can just tell it in one word, it is basically a decluttering. Exactly. Everything, more space, creating more space in our head, in huh. our life, in our environment. Also, it is also giving us a chance to prioritize things. Right. Right? Yes. So, uh... You know, if we talk about minimalist lifestyle as a word, it was, you know, coined in 1929. And then slowly it uh, involved, you know, the artists, the yes. painters and then yes. sculptures. So yes. what they did, did was, they used to paint or sculpture only with the materials they had, basic materials. And then it evolved into the modern design that we right now say. Okay, so modern design Minimalist basically is design. yes, small design, easy design, convenient design. Straight. Right. So you remember when we were talking about in the lunch, we say that when I will have a house, I'll have a ball mounted dining table. Yeah. Yeah. Which means like it will go up when you need and it will come down. So it's like small things and technology and you know, these designs have helped a lot. It's just that you have to use them uh like, you know, they are supposed to be used. You can, you know, make them help you in becoming a minimalist. So in this episode, Shamu has discussed with me how she has turned into minimalism. Also, we would like you to join this tribe. We'll be sharing with you the links of different books, different podcasts, and movies based on minimalism which will help each of us understand how to lead a minimalist life. You know what, I think that minimalism has definitely helped me lead a better life during COVID. We were entering or we are almost part of this hub called consumerism. We are almost all the time buying more than what we require. And COVID has helped us going back to our basics. We want to connect with all those people who believe in this concept, who is leading this lifestyle and share their ideas, their views and let us create a tribe of minimalist, happy life. We'll meet you with a new topic in the next episode. Thank you for listening to us.